Okay, we are finished putting in our um, grid lines using the borders and shading tool. We've changed our colors and styles. We've also changed our font size to 10 or less. Now I'm going to increase my view and I'll start in March. And now we're going to start filling up the right side of our calendar with holidays, observances, and of course your personalized dates. So we are going to go to, we'll start off with our class website and on the calendar project tab, scroll down to where it says click here to open up the holidays. And as I promised, you can see that actually I'm going to change this uh, to 2016-17 holidays. And you can see that I have a whole bunch listed, many to choose from. Now, of course, you don't have to put them all in. You're going to choose the ones that are important to you. And um, okay, well, I'm going to start off with, uh, in March, I'll put St. Patrick's Day because I think everybody's little bit of Irish on St. Patrick's Day. And watch what's going to happen when I hit enter and start typing. My cursor jumped down and I'm going to start typing St. Patrick's Day. And did you notice my grid lines kind of um, moved a little bit? Let me make it a little bit bigger. And that was because I hit enter. Now to avoid that, not that it looks terribly distorted here, but sometimes, let's say, let's say I chose a different font type that might have been a little thicker. Now that's distorted a lot. So you have a couple options here. You're going to use your formatting skills to make it look better. You could change the font size to something less than 10, like maybe 8. That certainly fixes it, right? Okay, you can do that. Or you may simply just delete the enter and use the space bar until it moves under. And there you have it. So now it fits in there. Still size 10. And you can read it and it didn't distort it. Now there may be situations where you have more than one event on the same day, then you are going to have to be extra creative in your formatting skills to make it all fit. Let's go down to, I'm going to skip ahead, you know, you've got to fill them all in, but I'm going to go to um, November where Thanksgiving occurs. So I'm not going to hit enter, but I'm going to press space a couple times. I'm going to start typing Thanksgiving Day. Now, this is totally unacceptable. You cannot have your words split in two like this. So this is a situation where you will most definitely need to change the font size so that you can read it all and you're not you know, abbreviating inappropriately or um, spelling anything incorrectly. So definitely change the font size when the words have to be um, in order to be in there properly. So that's an example there. Let me go to another example, another situation. I think it's October. Let me go to October. Okay, look at here. It looks as if my October is going to lose some these definitely are not equal. Some of the problem is because this grid line might be too thick. So I'm going to first go and change that by going back to my borders and shading, choosing all, and I am definitely going to just choose a skinny, a skinny dash there. Much better, much better. But now I'm still going to type in here Halloween. Oh, I don't want to hit enter, so we have backspace, hit my space bar, and then start typing. And notice how it just jumps under there, doesn't give an extra space, and it fits perfectly, and it's not distorted too badly. 
So those are the things you need to keep in mind while you are adding your important dates and holidays. Remembering that you need at least one per month that is a recognized holiday or observance. And then you need at least four personalized dates scattered throughout the year. Okay, those are the minimum. The more you put in, the more you are going to enjoy your end product. So work hard, add those important dates and those holidays that you celebrate and make this a great, great um, calendar project. Before you do control S, another reminder to make sure you have 12 pages. Then you can do control S and check back for the next lesson on how to address this side. Have a good time.